sir in the last videos we covered about inheritance next the encapsulation these two modules we covered very clearly right sir now the next the cinema what we have to start polymorphism concept sir under polymorphism we have to discuss overloading overriding these kind of things we have to discuss in detail right but before talking about overloading and overriding one very important concept we have to discuss because that concept i'm always keep on using in overloading and overriding what is that concept is method of signature are you getting sir you people should have clear clarity about method signature method method signature what is the signature of a method okay like can you please tell if i'm taking a java method public void public void m1 method i'm taking a ah, int i int i or let me take int return type instead of void return type int int return type i'm taking public int m1 of int i float f okay this is about my method can you please tell what is the signature of this method yes friends which is called method signature what is the signature of this method very important because in overloading method signatures must be different in overriding method signatures must be same like several times we are going to use the word method signature that's why you people should have clear clarity what is the method signature can you please tell sir for this method which is called method signature yes friends okay please make sure method signature consists of method name method name sir what is the method name m1 method name what is the method name m1 next up followed by argument types are you getting sir int comma float okay that's all this is called method signature method signature contains method name followed by argument types remember this one sir so here just only types here int i i am not considering because it's a variable it can be any variable name can be anything but type type int second one sir float even this order is also important first we take what int next we take what float that's why method signature contains method name followed by argument types clear for all of right sir who is going to use method signature next what about return type return type sir int return type is there please make sure in other languages like c++ return type is part of method signature but not in java sir java in java return type is not part of method signature remember method signature contain only method name followed by argument types okay well clear for all of right which is called method signature okay well now who is going to use method signature sir very simple compiler will use this method signature while resolving method of calls are you getting who is going to use right compiler will use method signature while resolving method of calls sir what it means i will explain a small chota example then you people can get much clarity here just observe that i'm taking a simple class test assume that class test i'm taking sir now here public void void m1 like this i have public void m1 of int i sir public void m1 of int i sir public public void void m1 okay m2 let me take m2 of string s m2 of string s like this i have now just uh, sir this is about how many methods are there inside test class two methods are there sir now sir just i am i am creating an object test t is equal to new test i want to call these two methods right sir you know whenever we are making a call t dot m1 of 10 t dot m2 of durga something like i am i am just calling calling these methods right sir whenever we are performing method calls 
compiler should be aware, compiler should check whether these methods are available inside test class or not. You are getting how the compiler will check, sir. So, while resolving method calls, compiler is always going to use method signature. Remember this one. Sir, now for this class, for every class, compiler will maintain one table which is called method table. Remember this one. For every class, compiler will maintain one table. What is that table, sir? Method table. For that class, it is going to maintain method table huh? for test class, right? Sir, how many methods are there? Two methods, sir. What is the signature of first method? M1 of int. M1 of int. What is the signature of second method? M2. M2 of string. Regarding M2 of string, sir, method signature contains only method name followed by argument types. Now, sir, observe that T dot M1 of 10. How the compiler can decide, sir, is it a valid method call or not? Very simple, sir. You are calling M1 and T. T is what type, sir? Test type. Observe this type of orientation must be required next. You are calling M1 method on T. T is what type? Test type. Are you getting? Now, which argument you are passing? Int type. So, inside the test class, is there any method which can take int type as the argument or not? Yes, there is a method which can take int type as the argument. Are you getting? Inside the test class, is there any method which can take int type as the argument? Yes, there is a method is there. Compiler feels that. Yes, it is the legal. Are you getting? Similarly, so t dot m2 of Durga, you are calling m2 method and t, t is what time? Test time. Bypassing, which one is the argument? String is the argument. Is there any m2 method inside test class with, with the string argument? Yes, man, with this method signature, there is a method, is there with this signature? That's why happily it is going to call. Clear, right? Sir, now take very special care. Now I am calling t dot m3, t dot m3 or 10.5, t dot m3 or 10.5. Immediately, compiler will check, array you are calling m3 method and t bypassing double the argument, 10.5, floating point lateral by default double type, double type right. Sir, now you are calling m3, you are calling double, double the argument, m3 method and t. t is what type? Test type. t is what type? Test type. Now in the test class, is there any M3 method with the double at the argument or not? No such type of method. With the required signature, with the required signature, there is no method. Immediately, compiler is going to object, boss, no such type of method. Are you getting? No such type of method. Like this, immediately, compiler method by default you are going to get. Are you getting right? So, what is a method signature? Who is going to use these method signatures? Compiler will use with these method signatures while resolving method calls. Clear, right? Sir, let me execute what the exact the compatible method you are going to get, I will show here. Observe that carefully, sir. Here, observe that, sir. I'm um, here, forget about all this stuff. I don't want to worry, sir. Here, inside class test, I'm taking one method public void m1 method of int i as yeah, the argument. This is the first method, sir. Public uh, void m2 method which can take string as the argument string yes like this I am taking sir. Sir that's all. This is about uh, m1 and m2 two methods are there. Now sir I am trying to take test t is equal to new test. Test t is equal to new test. T dot m1 of 10. Can you please tell is it valid or not? Yes friends. Is it, is it valid or not? Yes. Because, because you are calling m1 and t t is what type? Test type. Sir, m1 with the int at the argument, is there any method with the signature or not? Yes. That's why perfectly itself is valid. Clear for all of you, right? Okay. Sir, let me execute this code. Here, observe that. Let me compile java c test dot java. Perfectly valid. Perfectly valid. We are not facing any problem at all, right? Similarly, t dot m2 method bypassing Durga as the argument. 
regarding t dot m2 method by passing durga as the argument yes this one is also perfectly valid sir no problem at all because with the required method signatures already sir methods are available that's why no problem at all but now observe carefully sir t dot m3 method m3 method by passing 10.5 as the argument are you getting immediately compatible method by default you are going to get can you please observe what is that compatible method sir what is that compatible method cannot find the symbol which is symbol sir method m3 of double have you observed right what is this sir m3 of double bus there is no such type of method there is no such type of method with this signature have you observed right method a name followed by argument type sir with this signature my compiler unable to find any method that's why immediately compatible method we are going to get clear for all of right sir now observe very carefully about this one what is the method signature and who is going to use method signature method signature contains method and name followed by argument types who is going to use method signature compiler will use method signature while resolving method calls clear friends up to this sir there is one very important point is there related to method signature what is that point is just observe that carefully sir sir i am taking class test i am taking class test public void m1 public void m1 of int i like this i have one method is there sir next public public int int m1 public int m1 of int j is there and here return type is a int that's why it is expecting some int value correct that return 10 it is expecting some int value right that's all this is the method what we have now my question is take very special care about about this terminology right can you please tell if i'm taking let me create an object assume that i'm creating an object test t is equal to new test test t is equal to new test t dot m1 by passing it in the argument sir i'm calling m1 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 method by passing it in the argument can you please confirm which method is going to get in the chance friends please respond which method is going to get in the chance either first method or second method are getting either first method or second method sir if you are taking like this immediately compatible method we are going to get if we are taking like this immediately compatible method we are going to get what is the reason for that the reason the reason is do you know in within the same class two methods with the same signature is not allowed sir because whenever you are calling like this which method has to respond because this it this method matched even this method also matched are you getting this method what is the signature of this method what is the signature of this method m1 of int sir what is the signature of this method m1 of int m1 of int that's all now two methods sir with the same signature two methods sir with the same signature itself is there are you getting two methods with the same signature itself is nothing but not at all acceptable because if any person is calling m1 by passing into value which m1 method has to respond it is always a problem that's why so within the class two methods with the same signature is not allowed sir whether we are calling or not calling immediately compatible method we are going to get saying m1 of int is already defined in test class pass is already defined why you are redefining again another method with the same signature like that compatible method we are going to get clear for all of right so the important conclusion here is within a class two methods with the same signature not allowed by mistake if you are trying to take compatible method we will get even though return types are different 
Are you getting? One is while, but the second one is into. Even written types are different, but make sure, okay, within the same class, two methods with the same signature not allowed. Sir, let me check this one. Sir, which compiled method we are going to get, I will show. Have a look once. I am taking class test, public void m1 of int i, okay, like public void m1, oh, public int m1 of int k. Can you please tell what is the signature of first method? Ah, please respond. What is the signature of first method, sir? M1. Ah, what is the signature? M1 of int. Are you getting M1 of int? What is the signature of second method? Yes, second method signature is also M1 of int. So both the methods having the same signature. That's why you might get like compatible method you are going to get. Clear for all of you, right? Sir, let me cross check. Observe carefully, right? Now let me compile. Let me compile. What is that compatible method, sir? Method M1 of int is already defined in test. Why you are redefining again? Why you are redefining again? What is this M1 of int, sir? This is called method signature. Are you getting with this signature? Already a method you define. Why you are redefining again? This is the compatible method by default you are going to get. I hope everyone can able to understand, right? So these are the important loopholes you people should be aware. What is method signature? Next, who is going to use method signature? Next, uh, within the same class, if two methods having the same signature, what will happen? Immediately compatible method we are going to get. Clear for you? Okay, that's all. Hi friends, in the last video we covered what is method signature, who is going to use method signature and important point related to method signature. Okay, well. Sir, now the next concept, major concept, very important for the interview room, very important for day-to-day -day coding, overloading. What is the concept, sir? What is the concept? Overloading, we require to discuss in detail, right? Can you please observe, when we say that two methods are said to be overloaded, sir, these two methods are called overloaded. When we say these two methods are said to be overloaded, Sir, very simple. Have you observed, right? Here I have M1 method is there. M1 method is there. Sir, what is the argument? Is argument type? Argument is M1 of int. I have another method is there. What is the argument type? Long. Long. Can you please observe these two things? Sir, method names are same. Method names are same. But argument types are different. Method names are same, but argument types are different. Different. So, when we say that two methods are said to be overloaded, if and only if both the methods having same name but different argument types. Okay, remember this one. Same name but different argument types. Okay, what about return type? What about modifier? What about throw skewer? All that nonsense we are not required to worry. Of course, in detail we will discuss. So, just uh, at very top level, you people should be aware when we say that two methods are said to be overloaded. If both methods are having, uh, if both methods are having same name but a different argument types. Okay, well. So, now, do you know in C language? C, C language. Is a method of overloading concept is available or not available? Not available because C language is not object oriented. C language is not object oriented. That's why in C language overloading concept is not available. Okay, like that's why two methods with the same name under different argument types. So no such type of option. Are you getting? If you consider A B S method is there, sir. This ABS method is always applicable, sir, for int type. In C language, there is one method is there named with ABS. ABS method is there. It is always applicable for int type. Sir, I want to find for long, long value, absolute value. For long type, I want. So, if the argument are changing, if the argument is changing, compulsory method name must be changed. Are you getting? Because... Two methods uh, 
with the same name different argument types is not allowed in c language not allowed in c because overloading concept is not there if there is a change in the argument type compulsory we should go for new method that's why what is the for long time sir which is the absolute method we require to use l a b yes are you getting similarly if the argument is float the type if the argument is float type the method name is f a b s are you getting so how many a b s methods are there for a b s default for int time for long data time l a b s for float data time f a b s like that multiple a b s methods are available because two method with the same name but different argument types are not allowed then how many method names we have to remember yes obviously for every type separate method name we have to remember complexity by default is going to be increased programming complexity is going to be increased right remember but in java are getting but in java we are not having any such type of complexity sir because in java you can take same abs method for int type same abs method for long time same abs method for float type also because in java we can take same name multiple methods with the same name with the different argument types is allowed which is nothing but method of overloading are you getting this concept is nothing but what method overloading okay sir having method of overloading concept in java reduces complexity because for every time we are not required to remember separate method single method name we can use for any type of argument such a type of more flexibility you people can expect in in java right are you able to understand so really having overloading concept is it advantage feature in java or not yes but in c language do you know if there is a change in the argument type compulsory we should go for new method new method new method unnecessary unnecessary complexity of programming is going to be increases clear now up to this you people should aware only two points right when we say that two methods are said to be overloaded both methods having same name but a different argument types is called the overloaded methods next the what is the biggest advantage of overloading more flexibility to the programmer we can use the same method name even argument types are different no problem at all complexity of programming is going to be reduced clear right sir i hope it's very clear for you what is when we say that two methods are said to be overloaded let me go for a small program so that you people can get much clarity observe that carefully sir i'm taking a class test have a look once class test and here public void m1 method i'm taking sir observe method and name and argument types very important more concentration must be required sir here system dot out dot print lm no arg method regarding sop no arg method similarly public void public void m1 of int i public void m1 of int i system dot out dot print lm int arg method are you getting int arg int arg method right sir now public public void m1 method public void m1 m1 method of double d sir double d system dot out dot print ln double arg method are you getting double double arg method like this right can you please confirm how many methods are available sir m1 without any argument m1 with the int type of the argument m1 with the double type of the argument are getting total how many methods are there three methods are there have you observed for all the three method method the name is the same m1 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 but the argument types are different here no argument here int argument here double argument can i use the word all these things are by default considered yes overloaded methods are not please confirm all these methods are by default considered as overloaded methods or not yes obviously these methods are said to be overloaded methods okay well 
sir now the important conclusion okay what the meaning of overloaded well how the method of resolution by default will be there sir now let me write the main method in this class public static void main string array ax observe very carefully sir continuation main method i'm writing now test t is equal to new test test t is equal to new test sir now now on what's orientation you require to habitize a new orientation right t is what type test type reference type is the test type run time object is a test type of course here i'm using only one class sometimes reference type may be different run time object type may be different but as of now here same reference object type is also same whenever we are calling t dot m1 t dot m1 you are calling m1 without any argument on t t is what type sir test type t is what type test type that's why that's why immediately test the class m1 method no argument method is going to execute so what is the output by default we are going to get sir no arc method okay well now t dot m1 by passing 10 t dot m1 by passing 10 sir do you know you are calling m1 on t t is what type t is what type test type in the test class m1 method which can take int type as the argument this method is going to get in the chance that's why int arc method will get the chance observe that similarly do you know t dot t dot m1 t dot m1 if i can take 10.5 if i can take 10.5 10.5 is by default what type double type double type now do you know m1 method which can take double as the argument now the corresponding method will get the chance observe that observe that a bit very carefully sir based on argument type based on reference automatically the corresponding method by default will be executed so i hope is the clear for all of right sir let me execute up to this and then i will go for very important conclusion sir observe carefully here i have a look once i have sir i have no arg method is available sir first method no arg method int arg method and then what the last one double arg method like three methods are there sir now the point is inside main method let me create an object test test t is equal to new test i'm taking sir test is equal to new test t dot m1 are getting t dot m1 sir have you observed i'm calling no argument method then obviously which method is going to get in the chance right no arg method will get the chance observe that happily the code compiles fine now if i run this code which method we will get the chance sir no arg method is getting the chance okay well now t dot m1 of 10 sir t dot m1 of 10 10 means int value 10 means int int value right now which method is going to get in the chance right int arg method by default will get the chance right sir which method is going to get in the chance int arg method will get the chance similarly t dot m1 of 10.5 t dot m1 of 10.5 sir obviously double argument double argument method will get the chance the code compiles fine what is that answer we are going to get double arg method we are going to get in the chance so please make sure you people should be aware how to declare overloaded methods next how you can call overloaded methods it is a very clear right but from this example one very important point we have to conclude sir in overloading observe t is what type please respond sir you are calling m1 on t t is what type test type run time object is what type run time object is what type test test type in overloading method resolution method resolution method resolution means which method has to execute that process is called method resolution sir in overloading method resolution always takes care by
compiler. Regarding who is the responsible, sir? In overloading method resolution is always takes care by compiler based on reference type. Remember this one. But anyway, here reference type, runtime object type is the same. That's why you may not get much clarity from this example. But while next examples going on, somewhere definitely you people are going to get much clarity about this one, sir. But, but please make sure you people should aware, sir, in overloading method resolution always takes care by compiler based on reference time, but not based on runtime object. Sir, it is always going to take care by compiler based on reference type. That's why overloading is also known as compile time polymorphism. Regarding what is this one, sir? Overloading is also known as compile time polymorphism. Compile time polymorphism or, or static polymorphism. Static polymorphism or early binding. Early binding, these are various other words for overloading are you getting in overloading method resolution is always takes care by compiler based on reference type are you getting compiler based on reference type that's why so overloading is also known as compatible polymorphism or static polymorphism or early binding remember this one here runtime object is the dummy and the JVM is not responsible for method resolution, compiler is responsible. But from this example, you are not going to get much clarity, but while examples going on, you people can get much clarity up to this. Are you able to get right? About this point, I will explain in detail in the next coming example. Somewhere you will get much clarity, believe me, sir. That's all. Sir, in the last video, we covered very clearly about what is overloading. Next, in overloading, who is the responsible to perform method resolution? Can you spell out who is the responsible to perform method resolution? Compiler is responsible to perform method resolution based on reference type. Hence, overloading is also known as compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism or early binding. Clear, right? Sir, now there are multiple cases are there related to overloading. Let me talk one by one, one by one, right? Sir, the first case, observe carefully, sir. Here, here I have class test, public void m1 of int i, int argument. Public void m1 a float f and the float arc method. Are you getting? This is the int arc method. This is the float arc method. Now, can I use the word? These two methods are overloaded or not? Can you please spell out? These two methods are overloaded methods or not? Yes, obviously these are overloaded methods, right? Now main method, public static void main, test t is equal to new test t dot, observe very carefully sir, t dot m1 by passing 10 at the argument. 10 means sir, which type? Int type. By default, every integral lateral is of what type? Int type. That's why int arg method will get the chance. Okay? Well, int arg method will get the chance. T dot m1 are 10.5 f. 10.5 f. F means flow type. Flow type. Flow type means float arg method will get the chance. Are you getting? Float arg method will get the chance. We know up to this, already we covered in the last example, same. Sir, let me execute up to this. Now the next I will explain. First up to this, let me execute, sir. Here, sir, the same public void m1, int arg method, public void m1 of float f, float arg method, t the m1 of 10. Then obviously, which method we are going to get, sir, int arg method will get the chance. Observe that. Observe that int arg method, right? Now, t dot m1 of 10.5 f. t dot m1 of 10.5 f. Are you getting which method will get the chance, sir? Now, observe that float arg method will get the chance. Clear for all of you, right? Sir, that's it. Now, the next point you people should be aware, sir. Sir, it is the very, very important. Observe carefully. If I can take t dot m1 of yes sir are a is what type na a within single quote a is what type k 
char type char type can you please tell t dot m1 of a a char type which method will get the chance now ayo which method will get the chance now can you please confirm hmm which method is going to get in the chance either int method will get the chance or float method will get the chance or we will get compiled a method saying no such type of method because here int is there float is there but you are passing care as the argument can you please confirm very very important concept that is our first case which method is going to get in the chance okay very simple very simple in overloading so while performing overloaded method resolution if exact matched argument method is not available sir you are passing char but there is no method with char argument right compiler immediately won't try is compile a method regarding compiler won't try immediately error sir what the compiler will do first the compiler will promote this char type to next type are getting first compiler will promote this char type to next type you know automatic promotion automatic promotion somewhere what is the promotion automatic chart automatic promotion chart byte byte can be promoted to short short can be promoted to int 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 can be promoted to long long can be promoted to float float can be promoted to double in our basics somewhere we cover in the first unit sir char can be promoted to int sir please make sure you have to inject this chart in your mind so in overloading in overloading if exact matched method is not available compiler won't raise compile time error immediately first compiler promotes this argument to next level sir char char can be promoted to int type okay after promoting to next level it will check is there any method is there any method which can take int type as the argument are getting it will check is there any method which can take int type as the argument it will check sir if there is any method which can take int type as the argument yes compiler will give the chance for that method assume sir now what is the answer we are going to get sir int arg method so this is called automatic promotion in overloading remember that sir in overloading method resolution if exact matched method is not available compiler won't raise compile time error immediately first it will promote argument to next level and will check is there any matched method is available or not if it is available it will get the chance if it is not available not available again promoting to the next level again promoting to the next level again promoting to the next level sir all possible promotions completed still no matched method then only we will get compile time error this is called automatic promotion in overloading are you able to understand that case one what is the meaning of automatic promotion in overloading like sir according to our scenario for the care which method will get the chance now are you respond man which method is going to get in the chance uh, yes sir care no exact match care can be promoted to in time that's why int arg method will get the chance are you getting int arg method right now have a look once have a look once same method i'm taking sir same method t dot m1 of a sir are getting t dot m1 of a sir exact matched method is not there so char can be promoted to int type char can be promoted to int int type sir now int argument method is already available that's why int arg method will get the chance sir. now observe last output sir now have a look once we are not going to get any compile time error happily the code runs fine but if that output sir int arg method is going to get in the chance sir this type of concept is called automatic promotion in overloading clear now my next target sir t dot m1 t dot m1 of 10l i am taking are you getting 10l what is 10l are you respond what is the 10l 10l is nothing but what long type long is there any method which can take a long argument no we have only two methods one is in the second one is the float 
that's why according to our chart long can be promoted to float are you getting long can be promoted to float sir after promoting do you have any method with the float argument or not yes that's why obviously which method is going to get in the chance right float arg method will get the chance clear right okay if i can pass a long value as a long argument method is not available then obviously which method is going to get in the chance float arg method by default will get the chance clear right now let me cross check have a look once now p dot t dot m1 of 10 l either small l or capital l no problem at all t dot m1 of 10 l l sir long type exact match method is not available long can be promoted to float that's why float argument method will get the chance right okay well last output can you please observe that what is the last output we are going to get sir float arg method very clear now i have next doubt sir what is my next point is if i can take t dot t dot m1 of 10.5 sir very important t dot m1 of 10.5 can you please confirm 10.5 by default what type hey respond 10.5 by default what type double type double type sir now the argument what you are passing double double is there any method with a double type no no method with a double type okay well now is it possible to promote a double to the next level sorry not possible because double is the topmost uh, next level promotion is not there so promotion not possible exact matched method not available immediately compiler will give left and right are very the method very the method like uh, in this case only we are going to get compile time error are getting right first compiler will do a good thing for you it will try to promote and the check is there any matched method sir all possible promotions completed still match method is not available or promotion is not possible then only you are going to get compile time error is it clear right let me cross check this case t dot uh, can you please tell t dot m1 uh, 10.5 10.5 can you please tell 10.5 is what type sir double type double type is there any method with double add argument no no method is it possible to promote to the double type no double to next level no promotion then immediately compiler will give left and right method resolution fails are you getting now observe that no suitable method no suitable method found for m1 of double are you getting right no suitable method found for m1 of double first it will try m1 of int is not applicable okay m1 of int is not applicable next it will try m1 of float is not applicable sir it it checked both but still not applicable that's why we are going to get compile time error are you able to understand this concept is called automatic promotion in overloading very important concepts are even next level constructors concept there also it is applicable so in overloading method resolution if exact matched method not available we won't get compile time error first this argument will be promoted to next level okay sir after promoting either matched method is available or not not available next level promotion again 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 sir like all possible promotions completed still match method not available then only we are going to get compile time error this concept is called what is this concept respond man <laughs> what is this concept automatic promotion in overloading clear right sir in the last case we covered automatic promotion in overloading now the next possible question even the next case let me talk here class test public void m1 of object above sop of object version next up public void m1 of string yes sop of string version public static void main like this right can you please tell what is the argument to the first method m1 of object above what is the argument to the second method m1 of string yes both methods same name but different argument types so can i use the word overloaded methods or not yes these two methods are said to be overloaded okay well 
Now main method test at t is equal to new test. Sir t dot m1 of sir new object I am taking. Are you getting new object t dot m1 of new object I am taking sir. Now the point is legend legend a bit very carefully sir. If I can take new object new object. So, which method will get the chance, sir? Object argument, string argument, then object argument will get the chance, sir. Very, very important point. In overloading, while overloading method resolution, exact match will get highest priority. Remember, that's why which method will get the chance, right? Object version will get the chance. Okay, well, no problem at all. Now, T dot M1 of Durga, Durga I am taking sir. If I can take Durga, T dot M1 of Durga, Durga is what type? String type. Then obviously object version, string version, exact match will get highest priority. That's why which method will get the chance, right? String version will get the chance. Regarding which method will get the chance? String version will get the chance. That's why so string version, right? To this, let me let me check, and then the next point I will explain. Observe carefully, sir. Here I am taking two methods, right? Here I am taking two methods. First method, Yaman of object version, Yaman of string, yes. Okay. T dot M1 of new object. I am creating an object, and I am passing that object as the argument. I am creating an object, I am passing that object as the argument, right? Now, which one is always going to get in the chance, sir? Exact match will get the highest priority. That's why object version will get the chance. Now, have a look once. The code compiles fine. The code compiles fine. What is the output we are going to get, sir? Object version like this, right? Now, sir, t dot m1 of Durga I'm taking. T dot m1 of Durga, Durga like this I'm taking, sir. Now, which one is going to get in the chance? Yes, obviously, string version will get the chance. Are you getting which version will get the chance? String version will get the chance, right? Sir, up to this, it's a very clear for you. Now, the cinema is going to start. Observe carefully, right? If I can take T dot M1 of null, null, like this, right? Null value, I'm passing. I'm passing null value. Can you please confirm? Which one we will get the chance? First one, object. Second one, string. Null is a valid value for any type of object reference. Null is a valid for object reference. Even null is a valid for string reference also. Can you please tell who is going to get in the chance now? Getting? Both methods got matched. Because null you can provide in the place of object, in the place of string. Which method will get the chance? Hmm. Very easy. You can able to guess which class is the parent class, which class is the child class. Observe that the parent class is object, child class is string, sir. Object and then string, string, string is the child class, object is the parent class. Can you please tell in overloading, parent and child both came, both came, which one, which one is going to get the chance? Very simple, sir. Very simple. Suppose here in the government office, collector is there, attender is there. Collector is there, attender is there. Suppose I have a small work is there, saying, I will go to collector office. I, I, have, I want my required signs, observe that signatures are required from the collector. Then obviously I should meet the collector. Okay, suppose. Yet what time collector is available or otherwise? So I want some some general information. If attender can help, then I can I can complete that work only with attender. I'm not required to go for collector level. Are getting collector is the superior person, man. Okay, directly for small small problems also. So we should not go to the superior. First we will check with the child level. If the child level is not going to work, then only we should require to go for parent level. You know the rule. Obviously, you can able to guess which one is going to get in the chance. Can you please respond? Who is going to get in the chance now? Null. Null reference. Null applicable for string. Null applicable for object. So, in parent and child arguments are there. 
always child will get the chance if a child class can't if a, if child not matched then only parent level we will go are you getting right sir now p dot m of null which one is always going to get in the chance right string version will get the chance so in overloading parent argument child argument which argument will get highest priority sir child argument will get highest priority when compared with the parent argument okay now let me let me check t dot t dot m1 of null value t dot m1 of null value null value it is matched for both matched for both both observe have here which one is going to get in the chance right yes the output by default you are going to get last one string version right remember that string version will get the chance suppose assume child method is not available child method is not there not there sir child method is not there then obviously parent is going to get in the chance if child method is not there automatically who is going to get in the chance parent will get the chance let me show this one sir here here i'm removing i'm trying to remove child method trying to remove child next the many method calls also only one method call t dot m one of null are you getting child method is not there that's why who is going to get in the chance right obviously parent is always going to get in the chance are you getting but the answer we are going to get simple object version sir this is case 2 of overloading from this what we learn sir in overloading exact match will always get highest priority next if a parent and a child both methods got matched both argument methods got matched always priority will goes to child if the child argument not matched then only parent argument is going to take care child class argument will get more priority than parent class argument clear sir now the next case related to overloading observe carefully sir class test public void m1 of string s first method string string argument method string s public void m1 of string buffer sp are you getting what is this one sir string buffer now public static void main string array arcs test t is equal to new test i am taking sir here can i use the word these two methods are overloaded methods or not yes obviously because both methods having the same name and both methods having different argument types that's why overloaded don't keep any doubt at all these methods are overloaded okay test t is equal to new test t dot m1 t dot m1 of durga i'm taking sir durga by default what type string type that's why what is the answer we are going to get sir string version we will get the chance string version we will get now sir t dot m1 t dot m1 of new string buffer sir i am creating a string buffer object with the argument durga no problem sir you know it is which argument i am passing string buffer object so in overloading uh, sir in overloading exact match is always going to get highest priority here string string version string buffer that's why string buffer version will get the chance are getting which version is going to get in the chance string buffer version will get the chance now t dot m1 t dot m1 and uh, i'm trying to pass null value <laughs> are you getting null value okay i'm trying to pass sir up to this let me show sir except a null null argument let me show exact match will get the chance or not observe carefully sir here we have the first method is a string string version string version second method is a string buffer version there are two methods are available right now t dot m1 of durga i'm trying to take t dot m1 m1 of durga i'm trying to take now observe that sir which one is always going to get in the chance because string you are passing that's why string version will get the chance similarly t dot m1 of of new new string buffer new string buffer 
of Durga I am taking, sir. New string buffer of Durga, Durga, like this I am taking. Can you please have a look once? Which one will get the chance, sir? String buffer version will get the chance. So, first one, string version. Second one, string buffer version. So, in overloading, in overloading, so highest priority is always exact matched method. Okay, well. Now, what about next, sir? P dot M1 of null. Can you please confirm? Who is going to get in the chance now? Huh? T dot M1 of null. Null is valid value. For string, null is valid value for string buffer. Who is going to get in the chance? In the last example, object under string, parent and child is there. Child is always going to get highest priority. But here, string under string buffer, there is no relation between these two things. Object is the parent, one child class is the string, another child class is string buffer. Are you getting? Another child class is string buffer. There is no relation between these two things, right? So one is parent, the other one is the child. No, both are independent. Then, which is always going to get in the chance? Either string or string buffer. Are you respond? Uh, remember, by mistake, if, if, if the compiler gives the chance to the string version, then compile then string buffer will give left and right to the compiler hey compiler when compared with the string what is less with me okay why you are giving the chance to string that's all so compiler can't give the chance to the string can't give the chance to the string buffer then compiler with the big question mark face if the compiler facing any problem immediately it's going to rise yes compile time error sir so reference to m1 is ambiguous both the methods got matched. You want which method? I'm not in a position to resolve. That's why I can't compile. Like it is the compile time error we are going to get, sir. Observe carefully. Here I'm taking t dot m1 of null. T dot m1 of null. Null I'm taking, sir. So if I can take t dot m1 of null, sir, for this null, null, sir, string argument method matched. Next and after that string buffer argument method also matched. Both methods matched, sir. Under there is no relationship between parent and child. Something like parent and child relation is not there. That's why immediately compatible method we are going to get. Reference to M1 is ambiguous. Both the methods got matched. Are you getting reference to M1 is ambiguous? Both methods got matched. That's why please make sure. Okay? If exact match, we'll get the chance. Parent and child, child will get the chance. Multiple methods matched, but there is no relation at all between the argument. Then what will happen is compile time error we are going to get. Clear for all of you, right? Sir, now the next case related to overloading. A bit important, take special care. Of course, this case is not required for our certification. But anyway, aware. Okay. Here, see this one. Public void m1 of int i are you getting public void m1 of int i this is general method are you getting this one is what general general method right public void m1 of int dot 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 i what is this method where are the methods are a new concept which came in which version 1.5 version are you getting in which version 1.5 sir very simple very simple sir if I am taking a method of int i, like this I have one method is there. How you can call this method? You can call this method by passing, by passing, sir, only one argument. Are you getting? We can call this method by passing only one int value. Okay, well. Suppose, if I can take like uh, dot 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 i, sir. M of int dot 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 i. Do you know? We can call this method, we can call this method by passing any number of int values including zero number. Are you getting? Suppose you can call without any argument. You can call one int value. You can call two int values. You can call this method by passing one lakh int values also no problem at all. So this type of thing is nothing but what? Where arg method? This is the new concept which came in the 1.5 version. Okay, that's all. This basic idea is enough. Now come back here. Can I use the word?
both the methods are different or not ha ah, same name same name but different argument types sir that's why can i use the word overloaded or not yes yamana of int yamana of int dot 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 both are overloaded methods sir now first one general method verat method right now test t is equal to new test i am taking test t is equal to new test new test i am taking t dot m1 m1 without any argument sir observe very carefully sir t dot m1 without any argument can you please confirm which method will get the chance hmm which method will get the chance t dot m1 without any argument can you please confirm either first method will get the chance no no the reason for that is here have you observed it is always expected one into value is the second method will get the chance yes man because because it can it can expect any number of int values including zero number also you are not passing anything that's why which method will get the chance sa where are the method are getting which method will get the chance where are the method because first method is not getting the chance similarly t dot m1 of 10 comma 20 t dot m1 of 10 comma 20 sir 10 comma 20 which method first method no because first method can take one into value but you are passing two into values second method yes because second method can take any number of into values so that's why sir here in this case where are the method only will get the chance up to this any doubt because first one not matched if the first one not matched sir the second one matched that's why matched method will get the chance now observe that carefully sir here here i'm taking observe observe a bit carefully sir this is the general method this is the general method public void m1 of int i general method this is public void m1 of int dot 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 i where are the method right now t dot m1 without any argument t dot m1 of 10 comma 20 of 10 comma 20 sir do you know in both the cases in both cases sir first method not matched only second method matched that's why in both cases only second method will get the chance observe carefully we are not going to get any error happily the code compiles fine what is the answer we will get sir in both cases where are argument or where are argument like we are getting the chance now observe very carefully sir a bit dangerous sir. now i'm taking t dot m1 of 10 t dot m1 of 10 10 can you please confirm which method will get the chance one into value one into value for one into value general method matched where are the method also matched are getting one into value general method matched where are the method also matched matched can you please tell who is going to get in the chance yes please make sure make sure suppose assume assume there are two members are there sir general method immediately it's going to tell observe carefully the scenario general method matched even where are the method also matched sir both the general method and the where are the method meet at some common place to fight because both methods got chance they have to fight so almost one hour they are going to fight at last who is going to win the race can you please tell who is going to win the race general method will get the chance because the reason for that is general method concept came from 1.0 version but where are the method concept came in the middle new concept right whenever old concept and new concept fighting is there always old concept is always going to win the race in java remember this general method concept from 1.0 version of java it is there but this bloody where argument or concept came in which version 1.5 version 
whenever if there is any fighting between old concept and a new concept please make sure old concept is always going to win the race in java old is gold remember this are you getting right so which concept is always going to get in the chance old old concept means general method so now what is the answer we are going to get sir for this general method only now have a look once observe carefully right t dot m1 of 10 sir are getting t dot m1 of 10 10 only one into value sir sir first method matched because it is expecting only one into value even second method also matched because it is expecting any number of into values including one into value also so that's why it is also matched but always uh, general method will get the chance because it is the old concept that's why right let me compile let me compile observe the last output what we are going to get sir yes general method will get the chance everyone can able to understand sir i'm repeating even in the next classes also this point is the very important sir whenever fighting is there between old concept and new concept always old concept is always going to win the race clear right next uh, one more small point i have to talk about this where arc method right so where arc method is always good person man is always good person how you can conclude it the good person is because of its behavior where arc method will always get the least priority remember this one where arc method is always going to get least priority if no other method matched then only where arc method will get the chance so remember this one if no other method matched then only where arc method will get the chance where arc method will always get the least priority remember this one this is something like in our switch statement in the switch of x switch statement do you know case 1 case 1 case 2 dot 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 default are you getting case 1, case 2, dot dot dot, default is there. When default case will get the chance? Na? When the default case will get the chance? If no other case matched, then only default is going to get in the chance. Same way, when where arc method will get the chance? If no other method matched, then only where arc method will get the chance. Where arc method will always get the least priority. Compiler is always going to give the precedence, least precedence to where arc method. Please make sure you people should be aware. Clear, right? Sir, now the next case related to overloading. Observe a bit carefully, sir. Here class test the public void m1 of int i comma float f sir how many arguments are there two argument what is the first argument int second argument float public void m1 float f comma int i sir float argument int argument now i have one small doubt can you please tell these two methods are overloaded or not yes friends overloaded or not yes because both the methods should have same name but different argument types at least order at least order here first method signature int comma float m1 of int comma float second method signature m1 a float comma int observe the difference right m1 a float comma int that's why at least uh, there is a change in argument order that's why both are overloaded methods okay well now test t is equal to new test now i'm trying to take t dot m1 t dot m1 a ah, 10 comma 10.5 f can you please tell which method will get the chance hmm respond man which method will get the chance int and float so in overloading exact match is always going to get highest priority that's why int float so which one will get the chance sir int float version will get the chance are you getting int float version will get the chance similarly t dot m1 t dot m1 10.5 f comma 10 10.5 f comma 10 
do you know float value int value float value int value so highest priority exact match float int that's why which method will get the chance float int version will get the chance okay well because you are passing one float value one int value float int here you are passing one int value one float int float like this right let me execute up to this one have a look once here i am taking so same same thing only first method int float int float version second method float int float int version we have test t is equal to test t dot m1 r 10 comma 10.5 f okay well 10 comma 10.5 f have you observed the code compile is fine the code compile is fine int float version we are getting because you are passing int value float value like sir similarly t dot m1 r 10.5 f comma 10 are you getting 10.5 f comma 10 comma 10 like this right now which one is going to get in the chance right float int version will get the chance are you getting which one will get the chance float int version will get the chance right okay well this is the float int version right sir up to this okay because exact match always going to get high priority right but now the next thing what i have to discuss is sir take very special care now the cinema is going to start observe carefully t dot m1 10 comma 10 can you please confirm which one is going to get in the chance first one int value second one is also int are both are int int you are passing int int which one will get the chance first one matched int int, int. second one it's expecting float int can be promoted to the float no problem so int float version maybe first one matched second one float int value will promote will promote to the float second one int int no problem second one also matched hmm. If I can ask this question in my offline classes, out of 100, 99% of the people are always going to tell, Sir, first one will get the chance, sir. Sir, first one will get the chance because 10, 10, int, int, 10, exact match, second one will be promoted like this. That's why first one is always going to get in the chance because left to right, left to right. You are giving the chance for precedence for left to right. That's why first one is getting the chance right. Then immediately I will ask him. Okay. In India, we are always giving the precedence from left to right. But if you go for Pakistan, in Pakistan, they are always going to give the precedence from right to left. Then in Pakistan, 10 int 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 matched. Second argument from right to left means uh, int will be promoted to the float. Are means uh, in India, first version will get the chance, but in Pakistan, second version will get the chance. Java language is the country dependent language, platform independent anyway, is the country dependent language? No, no right, okay? Can you please tell who is going to get in the chance? Compiler will give left and right. Are both methods got matched, man. Which method? I'm not in a position to resolve. Reference to M1 is ambiguous. Are you getting? Reference to M1 is ambiguous. This is the Compatible method by default we are going to get. Okay, please make sure you should aware. Now observe that. Observe a bit carefully, sir. Here I am taking t dot m1 of 10 comma 10. t dot m1 of 10 comma 10. If I can take like this, if I can take like this, observe immediately compatible method we are going to get int float. Sir, here reference to m1 is ambiguous, is ambiguous because both the methods because both the methods got matched man so this is are you getting very important case very important case there is no precedence like left to right right to left while resolving method arguments that's why so immediately error we are going to get now i have one more one more case right okay well let me comment this one now t dot m1 10.5 f 10.5 f Sir, both are float, float. Both are float, float. Can you please tell who is going to get in the chance now? Huh? 
first one not matched because first argument is always expert int but you are providing float so float to int conversion not there into to float is there so it is a wrong second one not matched because in the second method second argument is what type int type but here you are passing float in the place of int you can't pass float value first method not matched second method not matched so no method matched that's why cannot find the symbol method m1 of float float like we are going to get the problem okay like sir do you know in the previous case ten ten both methods matched that's why compiler getting confusion ambiguity problem right but in the second case no method matched that's why cannot find the symbol there is no such a type of method okay like let me execute this code now here i'm taking this one i'm trying to comment t dot m1 of 10.5 f comma 10.5 f i'm taking 10.5 f comma 10.5 f can you please observe can you please observe that immediately have you observed no suitable method found for m1 of float float sir int float is not applicable float int is also not applicable that's why no suitable method found like this immediately it's going to tell compile time error everyone can able to understand so because no method matched that's why it is invalid here both methods method both methods got matched that's why it is invalid sir very important case for the entire room take special care sir the last case related to overloading a bit important take special care sir here i'm taking class animal are you getting i'm taking class animal next i want to take child class of animal can you please tell any child class refer animal child child of animal maybe tiger lion next human <laughs> human being is also child of animal only right human like sir my favorite animal my favorite animal class monkey <laughs> class monkey extends animal class monkey extends animal animal like sir why monkey is my favorite animal because most of software engineers like us are monkeys only monkeys monkeys most of software engineers are monkeys because the reason is so for the sake of some 20 percent high 30 percent high so we are going to keep on changing the company today i am in infosys tomorrow i may jump to ibm because ibm people are offering 30 percent hike day after tomorrow i may jump to tcs because they are offering more another 20 percent hike that's why so software engineer like me keep on jumping from <laughs> keep on jumping from one tree to another tree same one software company to another software company like anyway monkey monkey is the best uh, example class monkey extends animal so which is the parent class animal is the parent monkey is the child class right now class test observe very carefully dangerous case public void public void m1 of animal a public void m1 of animal a system dot out dot print ln animal version observe carefully sir animal version sir what is the argument for m1 animal animal version public void m1 another method monkey version are getting monkey monkey m system dot out dot print ln monkey version we have monkey version like this right of course sir animal and monkey my own my own classes can i use the word these two methods are overloaded or not yes yes because both methods having the same name same name but different argument types okay well now i'm ready to go for main method sir public static void main method string array ax okay string array ax now the point is test t is equal to new test because if you want to call 
either this one method or this one method both are instance method test class object must be required now observe first one animal a is equal to new animal animal a is equal to new animal sir i am creating animal object reference type animal runtime object is also animal object only t dot m1 i am passing a this is the first one second can you please observe monkey m is equal to new monkey monkey m is equal to new monkey t dot m1 of m t dot m1 of m m like this next the third one animal a1 is equal to new monkey animal a1 is equal to new monkey t dot m1 of a1 wow wonderful case sir more concentration must be required sir parent reference can be used to hold child object no problem at all here child reference child object okay well can you please confirm which one will get the chance in the first case <laughs> observe carefully animal reference animal object t dot m1 of a a exact match will get the yes the priority sir a animal 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 version don't keep any doubt at all animal version i will execute don't worry sir next uh, monkey m is equal to new monkey t dot m1 of m m m is sir monkey monkey exact match is there that's why sir monkey version monkey monkey version like this right ah dangerous thing third one only animal a1 is equal to new monkey parent reference can be used to hold child object t dot m1 of a1 can you please tell animal version or monkey version very very important animal version or monkey version because both methods are there there is one method which can take animal type there is one method which can take monkey type who is going to get in the chance hmm that's what at the beginning of overloading i covered one point how many people remember i don't know i covered one important point sir in overloading method or resolution always takes care by compiler based on reference type run time object never going to play any role remember here which reference a1 a1 is what type animal animal so this is it never going to worry about run time run time object so that's why which version will get the chance sir animal version only remember this sir which version will get animal version sir practical proof in overloading always method resolution is always based on reference type but not based on run time object any doubt friends are you in the position to understand let me execute this code observe that carefully here i am taking sir same same observe code class animal sir next a class monkey extends animal next uh, there is one method first method animal version second method monkey version is there now i am taking animal animal a is equal to new monkey animal a is e sorry sorry animal a is equal to new animal like this i am taking sir now t dot m1 of a sir t dot m1 of a sir animal reference animal object then obviously animal version is uh, is the output we are going to get the code compiles fine what is the answer sir animal version okay well now sir here next case i am taking monkey monkey m is equal to new monkey monkey m is equal to new monkey t dot m1 of m sir t dot m1 m1 of m m like this i am taking sir now can you please confirm what is the answer by default you are going to get sir have you observed monkey version clear for you people right sir third third case very important sir animal a1 is equal to new monkey animal a1 is equal to new monkey t dot m1 of a1 t dot m1 m1 of a1 
can you please confirm what is the output by default you are going to get sir yes clear for you people yes animal version like this we are going to get okay please make sure in overloading method resolution always takes care by compiler based on reference type a runtime object is a dummy in overloading so hence overloading is also considered as compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism or early binding clear for you is it clear for all of you right 